the channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different, kind of um, along the lines of a DIY or even uh, some folks might say a, a prepper, you know, a, a prepper type of a, of a project. Um, what I'm going to build is my own uninterrupted power supply or UPS out of some stuff that I had around the, the garage and some stuff that uh, I went and purchased for the project. Um, where I live, um, we lose power frequently from you know, storms and whatnot, um, trees falling on power lines and different things like that. So we're out in the country and so it's just one of the things that we deal with. Um, we do have a generator for the, the bigger needs, you know, appliances and, and uh, whatnot, so that that part of it's not the issue. But um, our internet service is on a, uh, on a generator, so if we lose power for the whole area, the, that part of it is still up, but we've lost power, and so we can't power our modem and, and all that stuff on our end. And so a UPS would solve that problem, but a UPS isn't portable, really. And so I'm going to build something that, uh, that is portable. It's a short-term fix, a short-term solution, but it's a, a simple solution. And so I want to see how it works out. It's kind of one of those things of the items combined in a normal method work together, and they work together as they're supposed to. But I've never seen it done quite like this. And so hopefully you'll enjoy the content. It should be fun putting it together. It should be fun seeing how it works. And, uh, well, let's find out if it actually does work. So with that said... Let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm going to squat down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. But what I want to talk about now is the, the parts, the uh, stuff that I have to do this project with. Uh, I've got a couple of the ratcheting tie downs, and uh, or excuse me, the cam lock type tie downs. And all these are going to do is hold the battery onto the hand truck. And so, real simple, Harbor Freight item. I've got the uh, uh, power inverter here. It's a uh, 2,000, 4,000 watt. Yeah, the 2000 4000 is the Chicago Electric, again, from Harbor Freight. Hey, the stuff is, uh, uh, is economically priced in order to do a project like this. So then I've got a couple of battery cables here. Uh, the positive cable, they only had black in the lengths that I needed, and so I wrapped the ends, uh, each of the ends with a little bit of red duct tape so that that signifies that it's the positive lead just for safety. Uh, I've got one of the clamps that the, has the wing nut on it. And then i got two of these uh, wall hanging brackets. And nicely enough, they're just wide enough for the power inverter to sit in and uh, the spot where I'll need to drill to mount it to the L bracket so that the power inverter doesn't flop around is uh, right at the width of the, the hand truck that I've got. Uh, I've got some uh, a kit of the nuts and washers. And then I've got some self-tapping sheet metal screws. And then, of course, the tools to put those in a little bit of drill, your drill to level to make sure that I mount everything as level as possible on the hand truck. And this is the hand truck that I bought from Harbor Freight. It was under 30 bucks on sale. And then uh, the uh, battery that's down here, I'm not going to lift that up. We'll get, get it in the project in a little bit. It's a, a deep cycle marine battery, and it's one that I had for another project. And uh, so it's left over, and now we're going to use it for this project. Uh, basically, it should make this whole portable power supply a, a pretty simple thing. Now, in the end, once you use the power and you, you you don't need it anymore, bring it back in, and I've got a car battery charger that I will plug onto it and uh, and uh, use it that way, and so that it'll charge it back up and keep it charged all the time. Now, I have used the battery and the inverter together before but it's really cumbersome to move everything around, and so I figured that putting it all together in one unit will make it a lot easier. So, Okay, first things first, what I want to do is uh, basically find a level on uh, the cross piece, and this is where I'm going to set the, the uh, L brackets, or the wall brackets. That's level. Those are my two dots. And so what I'm going to do is mount my first bracket right well, wherever the dot is. Anyway, I'll, I'll get to it in a minute. But I'm going to weld that bracket right there. It's going to set the inverter portion of it here. Everything is going to be low enough that the weight is down near the bottom so it's easy to move around. And uh, it should be con all conveniently located. The cables are plenty long enough. And, uh, 
then if there's anything else later on down there, because I do have the power switch that's coming in the mail, and I'll probably mount it up here, and so that you can turn everything off completely, and so it'll, it'll isolate the battery from the whole system. And so from there, that's what we're going to do. Let me grab the drill, and uh, we can make the first holes, get this thing put together. and cats and so if you have pets and you're doing stuff that uh, you're going to create metal shavings be mindful of their paws so that uh, they don't wind up with slivers because uh, I don't know about you but ours don't wear shoes and socks no matter how hard we've tried This thing's got enough power to run an angle grinder. Let's see here. How about that?
got a power supply that we can use out and about or uh, as an emergency backup. And now, um, see how it works for long-term use, but I, I, I don't imagine a large draw item is going to last for super long, but I could be wrong. It'll be interesting to find out, and I'm definitely going to put it through its paces to see what it does. Anyway, I thank you for watching, and uh, as always, if you wouldn't... Uh, you wouldn't mind hit that subscribe button and uh, click the like on this video if you liked it as well as if you want to get notified for uh, any future videos tap that little bell icon and uh, set up your notifications so the system will let you know when I put something new out. Uh, as always thanks for watching have a great day and we'll see you on down the road.